in this video you are going to be told what the biology y exam entails and also the most important part the likely topics so let's dive right into the video the sections of the biology y exam you have the objectives and you have the theory if you thought biology was all about reading even sometimes you have to find the percentage of a particular distribution so you have to take your calculator to the example so the practical aspects then let's look at the theory in detail so there are sometimes calculations and also you are asked to draw certain diagrams of certain organisms or a system of the body or a particular part of a plant you have application questions and these application questions are mostly connected to genetics variation and evolution and you would have to know how to interpret graph how to do your graph work your x-axis your y-axis your scale and your ability to interpret the graph would be a plus because you'll be asked questions based on the graph and you should know your definitions and one thing about biology is you know when you're, when you're writing the biology exam you don't speak english you speak the technical words that are used when your teacher was teaching so sometimes you'll be asked to explain something you will write a lot but would you be given the math because there are some words keywords and phrases you were expected to include in your explanation if you don't get them right you wouldn't get the full mark so explanation your description yes you ask to explain a particular concept now when you're told to explain you don't define you explain into details and you ignore all other unimportant examples just go straight to the point don't try to prove to that you know a lot from everywhere answer the question as it has been asked because one thing you need to know is those who are marking the exam are marking for money so when you exaggerate or go wayward they just deduct marks and move on to the next paper so the practicals you have alternative a b and c so in your class if you are a lot some of you have to write an alternate a alternate b or alternate t during the practicals you will be asked to identify specimens and this is where your practicals during your year one year two year three comes in so you shouldn't love the theory class and then avoid going to the science lab now drawing of a specimen the first time i asked my friend how to draw he told me draw what you see and that was it i learned how to draw so start start drawing learning is a skill and once you make up your mind you can learn anything so the explanation as well so during practicals while you have been asked to identify the specimen a part of an organism that is um, giving to you you should be able to explain so your knowledge in the theory will also count in this area now you can be asked to compare similarities and differences between specimens which have been displayed economic importance the adaptive features of the organism and then taxonomy the binomial nomenclature the general species the genus supposed to start with a capital letter underlined and the species supposed to start with a small letter underlined as well now you should draw a knowledge map first for whatever topic you are studying and this is how a knowledge map looks now the knowledge map gives you the bigger picture of whatever you are studying biology there's a lot of reading if you don't know where you are going you wouldn't know when you have a full grasp of whatever concept you are studying now active learning you don't just read like you're just reading you should ask yourself questions what if how what are you studying why are you studying it so if it's physiology of plants what is it how does it work why are you studying it so what if the parenchyma is lost what if the colenchyma is lost what if the xylem is damaged you always ask yourself these questions when you are studying now you learn to draw i already mentioned that now studying groups because group studying is one of the things that you mostly don't find in the senior high school because of competition when you are studying in groups everyone is coming with his or her own strength and abilities and when you come with your weakness your friend can communicate in a language you understand you know tutors and teachers they are experts and the way they understand things might be different from you so you studying in a group your friend is most likely to be thinking like you so he can communicate in words or in a language that would seem simple for you to understand now real life application of whatever you are studying how is whatever you are studying important in real life and i can assure you that anything you are studying has a relevance in real life now correct spelling now there are certain keywords there are certain terms you know mouthful terms you hear 
that you mostly don't hear in and around you. You need to get used to these words, know how to spell them because in the chief examiner's report, they do mostly report that most students are not able to spell and you lose marks. If you can't spell it, you don't know it. That's what they think. So if you know how to spell, get feedback. You can pick questions, answer them, take it to your tutor, get the feedback so you know what you're about. Because you see, you can't afford to fail an exam you use three years to prepare for. It's not right. You invested a lot of time, effort, and money. Who do you want to fail? Whatever exam you are taking, the quizzes and the tests you are taking in class, add a training fees. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Have in mind that work exam is time bound, first of all. And you wouldn't have the luxury of getting someone to correct you. So make the mistakes. You need to sometimes let go of the competition uh, mindset. Make yourself vulnerable. Make the mistakes. Because if you don't make the mistake, you wouldn't know what you don't know. When you know what you don't know, you give attention to your weakness so that it becomes your strength and then you move so this for biological drawing you should know the orientation you are asked to draw the ventral view the dorsal view and so on sometimes you are asked to draw the cross-sectional transverse you should understand all those terms so that you get the answers you should also even learn how to draw things that you see you can you can hold because during the practicals you can be giving an organism maybe the leg the appendages a bone to draw and you see, you shouldn't wait till the exam before, like you don't know what to do. You know, three years is enough. Because if someone is getting OEs, what shows you cannot get? You know, your drawing should be clear, no broken lines. You should present a very neat work. Because you should know that the one who is marking is seeing a lot of papers or answer booklets. And if you stand out, you get the highest mark. Even if yours is good, it should be exceptional. So horizontal labeling. This is how horizontal labeling looks like. The labels of your diagram shouldn't be crossing each other. It doesn't make your work excellent. So neatness during a biological drawing or even when you are drawing a graph, neatness very, very important. Now the size of your diagram, whatever you are drawing, maybe you are giving your tool to draw an organism, the part of a body, the eye, the ear, it should be from 6 cm to 8 cm. If you have your rule, you, you can identify what 6 cm or 8 cm is. And then your magnification as well. You draw something, you give it a title, then you state the magnification, maybe times five. Then the graph work, you should know your graph. You should, you should have mastery. You know, mastery is what brings you the A. That is why this video was made. Now, likely topics, which is my favorite part. And I already mentioned that I'm going to show you a topic that always drops. So the first topic is cell. The cell, cell one and two. And, you know, you find it this in your textbook so i don't really need to go into details diversity of living things introduction of nature one and two human ecology and health life processes in living things now the life processes are many but i selected those ones that mostly come in the wayek exam which are nutrition in plants and animals as well as the nervous system and um, genetics variation and evolution is in caps because you are most likely to find it and you should work your way around it this doesn't mean the other topics are not important it simply means that these topics are most likely to be seen. So when you have mastery over these areas, you are ready for your A. I will urge you to click on the video floating on the screen to get another subject on the WIAC Exposed Topics 